recording. So great. So we missed um, we missed a bit of content here. One of the things we did this morning was we we made an image that fills up the whole J frame. So if you check, there's a really easy solution to it on Discord. And then we have here a checkbox that we just right clicked on and said move up. So it went above the now pixelated image because we were concerned the image was too big, but then when we stretched it out, now the image looks too small because we're really seeing the pixels in this, this golfer here. And you need to keep, you know, you see it in the golf ball too. You need to keep those things in mind when you're like making something for other people to use. You don't want to just, just give them garbage. Now, one issue with during class is we're trying to add items in really quickly just so we can show how to do it. It takes a lot longer to make things look good where you care about what colors you're using, you care about where you're putting the items in the in the program. And yeah, it's all it's all coming together. Okay, so let's have it so when this is clicked right here, we're going to have the J option pane come up. So we can go here to events. And what's happening with this events? There we go. Under events, we can have we can have a click. So we can have a mouse clicked. And we can say mouse clicked if J checkbox VIP is selected then we want to have this show confirm dialog box for the VIP and then we can say else just welcome either way we'll have a checkbox come up okay so let's go ahead and run this here and see if this works so we just go here to it's all messed up let's try that again there we go run file okay so we drag it over here and we see okay select VIP welcome VIP yes and then welcome right so you see whether it's checked or not it's not waiting for the button to be pressed you can do it when you when you click here inside of J checkbox and that's through an event okay so you just right click on something and you say events and then you pick the type of event that you're looking for right are you looking for a mouse move are you looking for some kind of uh, focus there's there's lots of different types of events that you can you can work with all right so vetoable change <laughs> what is that event i'd have to look that up i have to look that up okay so let's share what we just added so we don't go and add like an hour's worth of stuff and we'll just call this here we'll just call this one top golf with um, checkbox and background I guess that those are the main things we've added dot zip export and then we just go here to oh I did the wrong one I did final review so that's wrong let's try that again export project to zip I don't want final review I want top golf and then we want to put it on our documents and we can call it top golf with checkbox and background image that's it export and then we just go up one there it is top golf with checkbox and background perfect that's it 
Okay, so you can import that into NetBeans and then, you know, practice with it. So I really like the final projects where students take something like this and they save the data to a file. They can retrieve the data from a file and it just becomes a working system for a business. So you build, you build the user interface for a business. And my favorite, favorite, favorite ones are when people take businesses that they actually own or work for. So I had a locksmith. A locksmith built an amazing swing Java program. I mean, he, he knew so much about, about being a locksmith that his program was really, really good. And then in my Android class last Last semester, I had a student who, I guess it was a couple semesters ago, a student who owned a restaurant down in the Keys, and he, um, he made basically an inventory management system for Android, and it was really, really good. Um, everybody in the class loved it, and it was a lot of fun. So he, he put a lot of great uh, effort into it. But when you combine knowledge of a particular area with some coding skills, it's very powerful. Because he knows the restaurant industry better about how um, shelves should be organized and the flow of when the supplier brings in the stuff, how you, you, you load it, where you load it, how an app could help you do it. I mean, it's, it's powerful stuff that he, he has those years of experience. Um, but I don't have that sort of great experience with Topgolf, right? So I'm just sort of throwing things together. Now, let's, let's be honest. Let's say that, that it's the final project time and I'm showing this off. So I say, oh, welcome, everyone. Today you'll be seeing my final project for Topgolf. And as you can tell, I've added in this beautiful image. Never mind that it's pixelated. And we have here, you can type in a name. And you can click on how many adults. And oh, we have negative two adults and three children. And the hours, this looks bad because well, I didn't have much time, and then we go over here, and we pick some name, and then we say some button pops up for some reason. Then we confirm reservation, and the price is here, $4. And then that's my final project. And it's like, well, people can tell that everything is thrown together. Like, there's no real thought and care about how it's organized. And that, that sort of thing takes time, you know. But, but occasionally you'll get final projects that, that kind of look like that and sound like that where it's just, just something someone threw together like the night before. And, I mean, it's definitely better than nothing, right? Like to do nothing is the worst thing. But, you know, for, for something where there's all these, these details that aren't dealt with, it just really can't be something, it can't be the same grade as somebody who put in like a lot of thought and care into it. Now, there are going to be technically some people in here who are just like amazing. Like technically they're doing awesome, awesome stuff and they can get 100 and the person who maybe technically isn't as advanced but still cared about all the details, they can get 100 too. So there will be lots of perfect scores on the, this final project. It's not like, you know, two people get a perfect score and those are the people going into the software industry and everybody else gets a, a failing score. No, no, not at all. As long as you have good focus to details and make it look real nice, then you can get a good score too. But like something like this is a workable idea. You know, if you haven't put your idea yet, this, this works. You've got a top golf system. You just have to make it look nicer than this because this is something thrown together 
in class. Okay, so sounds good. Uh, what else do we want to add to this? Let's take a look. So maybe we'll add one more thing here. Um, why don't we add a, oh, radio buttons. Yeah, radio buttons and radio groups. That's important. So we can go here to drag in some radio buttons. And I'll put them here. So let's just click on the radio button. I guess the quickest way to get to it is just to do this. Right click here, move up, move this back. Okay, there's the radio button. So we'll call this one um, J Radio Button Pro. I mean, but would a golf pro really go to Top Golf? I don't think so. J Radio Button. Um, I don't know what's a way to divide people up. J radio button over 21. No, it would need to be like three things because that would be like a checkbox. Uh, oh, J radio button. Um, gosh, what could it be? Like, let's say, let's say location. Like, um, they've got the east. J radio button east. And then we can call this one here East. And then they'll have the West. So let's drag in the West. Like let's say within Top Golf, they divide it up with East, West, and North. I don't know. All right, so let's go here to move up. And then we right click here. And we say change variable name West. Actually, we'll just do East and West just to make it simpler. And then we'll say edit text, we'll call this West. All right, then we can just drag this over here and we can move this up. All right, perfect. Okay, so we have East and we have West. And now if we run it, watch what happens. This is kind of funny. If we run this file, you know, you can only be in one. You can only be in east or west. But right now, we can be in east and west. And we don't want this. All right? So what we want to do is we want to add a button group. We want to add a button group. So we just drag this button group in and drop it. And then we go to our buttons and we say, all right, under properties, we want to add in a button group. Well, we just dropped in a button group and it's called button group one. So we click on button group under properties and we say button group one and close it. And then we go to the properties for West and we say, okay, for this button group, we want button group one. And now that they're in the same button group, you can't select them both at the same time. So we click over here on this and we say east or west. It can only be one. It can't be both. That's the benefit of a radio button, that you can only select one at a time. Does this make sense about what a radio button and a button group is for? Okay, good. This makes sense. All right. So why don't we, I think, I think this is enough for GUI building right now. Let's export this project one last time, adding radio buttons. So we'll go here and we'll call it Top Golf with radio buttons dot zip. And then we just extract, export it, and we move up one, and we drop it here. Okay, very good, very good. So let's 
let's close this not beans out and we'll close this and you know <laughs> I just I just think that there's something so funny about the internet that that I want to point out here we are in stack overflow we were interested in the layout of a j-frame right and we were interested in making an image as a background and and the internet did an amazing job in changing this but if it, I mean like answering it, not changing it but the, the internet did an amazing job of answering it and but then we look over here and we see how is the philosopher's stone destroyed is Kamala Harris's approval rating the lowest of any vice president I mean the the randomness I personally do like like I like randomness but I mean it it, it has to do something to people's concentration right all of these things vice presidents trauma uh it's it's just so random that they're putting in over here it has nothing to do with coding which is fine like stack overflow is like trying to promote their other their other communities but okay let's close that down and let's go to let's go to cold wars and let's do some live coding we haven't done some live coding in a little while so maybe instead of me doing it let's pick an interesting problem and then have somebody in the class solve it and then we can all sort of help them out all right so let's change to languages we'll pick c plus i mean not c plus we'll pick java and we'll pick level seven and why don't we pick ones that i have not trained on and let's look at popularity okay great so I've found 82 that I haven't worked on and we see the first one is called filter the number and it says it says oh no the number has been mixed up with the text your goal is to retrieve the number from the text can you return the number back to its original state so they got an extra apostrophe in there you will be given a string of numbers and letters mixed up you will have to return all the numbers in that string in the order they occur okay so let's look at an example that's usually the best way to understand something well it's, it's a good way to understand something so we see here we have a1 b2 c3 we're returning only the numbers so we return one two three okay we ignore a b and c okay parsent parsent seems like a good uh suggestion would you like to live code this And there's really like no no downside to live coding it because if you get stuck we can all we can all help you right like there's there's no way we won't solve this we'll 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 definitely solve it but we do i think it helps to have one person sort of take the lead as typing because i i do so much typing in here and so much talking so let's see who who would like to volunteer to do this And it doesn't have to be um, your first time, right? Like if you've done it before, you can you can repeat because we haven't done this in a pretty long time. But it would be good if this is your first time doing it. Let's see. Okay, good, perfect. So give it a try. Just share your screen, and I'll stop sharing mine.
I don't know. It's when you watch. Yeah, it looks perfect. Let me move it. Let me enter today. Yeah. You see the code, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks perfect. Um, volume. Right. And number. Zero. Well, probably just initially by itself. Let me see. I haven't think it at all. Probably like number equal in was Integer first in. I put like volume, right? I haven't tried never the first. How do I check that? I just uh, I would do like a for loop. Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, I hear you. I was just hoping some other students could could chime in on the on the the little forum here. Uh, of land is minus so you could check inside check there inside. if if it's a, um, if it's a number, number or letter or Value that char and this is. Oh, characters. Okay. 
います。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。Yeah, so if you check to see if it's a digit, you can just keep keep track of that, keep adding it to a string, so you know you made all all the digits into a string. I probably add another string, empty string. That yeah, that's a that's a good way of doing it. Value that char at I don't think this will work. The char at should be I above. It should be I for that because is that one above char at one? What do you mean? Okay, on line on line seven, I'm just having a, a bit of an issue with the um, resolution. Does it say value dot char at and then I inside the parentheses? Can you copy the code and paste it in Discord? That would be easiest. Okay. This one. Just, just all the code. Can I work like this? I just, I don't know, think it's a char add. It gets the value for the string. No, that looks good. That looks good. I just think at the end you're still returning negative one. Oh, my bad. Oh, and the other thing, you're running the is digit on the value. You need to run is digit on the character. Right, so you need to move the value dot char at i into where it says value. Yeah, perfect, right there. So if you put like character, then like this. Yes, that's correct. Character is digit, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's good. That's perfect. Cap capital C, capital C. Oh. at the beginning.
Oh, it's minus one here, right? Nice, looking good. Click on attempt. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, you know what? Instead of um instead of integer parsing, try long dot parse long. So long? Yeah, exactly. So if we put like here or if it's like integer. No, no, you need long. Capital L, yeah. Long, first long? Yes, I think that should do it. Perfect. Great, thanks so much. Copy thanks. and paste your code and, and let's put it in Discord. Solutions. Never tried before they deferred. That's great. That's great. All right, perfect. So I guess you can go ahead and stop sharing, and then I can go back to sharing. Looking good. And put a thumbs up here. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so that that was a lot of fun. Um, the the truth is that that you get a lot of good practice. No, no, that was, that's really good practice to do that sort of thing. It it is harder when you're coding and talking things through. Right, like when you say, "Okay, now what am I doing here? What am I doing here?" It's definitely much, much harder. So that's why, like, when when people get a chance to do this sort of thing, I I think it's really great that they take the opportunity. And we just it's going to be very helpful for for life to do that. So um, the main goal of the main goal of doing a, a set of exercises on um, Code Wars is the hope that people will keep using it and keep solving and keep solving. Because when I look at the top students from, from the, the years that I've, I've taught and used Code Wars, I remember all of these students who are at the top. Because these are students, is there any, oh, GUI practice? No, not really. I mean, Java Swing isn't really like a, a hot technology. So, I mean, it's good. Like, I don't feel bad about doing some Swing examples, but it's not really, it's not really great for, I mean, maybe there might be, let's see. Code Wars Swing Java. Let's see. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't have any. There's like, there's none. So, you know, hopefully those of you who, who haven't yet like really gotten into the site, Let's, let's see who the top student in this class is right now. Who has solved a lot of problems on this site? Let's find out who the top one is from this class. Wait, isn't there a Frank Lopez in here? No, not Frank Lopez. There's a different Frank. Um, let's see. 
Daisy is in my um, other Java class. Oh, is this? Wait, that's. Oh, this, this, this is Frank Sanchez. Okay, yeah, this is, um, so you've completed 17. That's pretty good. 17 is pretty good. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. And you like the site? Okay, good. So let's see here. Um, let's go here to, let's go here to, now, since we're talking about these sites, have we seen HackerRank yet? Okay, so in class we have not shown HackerRank. Okay, perfect. This is the perfect time to talk about HackerRank. Okay, HackerRank owns Memer. Memer was a startup. HackerRank bought them. Let's all sign into HackerRank now. Okay, so just sign in as a developer and I'll just sign in with my github account okay put a thumbs up when you are signed into HackerRank
Okay, good. A lot of people are there. Perfect. So once you're there, there are lots of different certificates that you can get for solving problems here, right? They have interview preparation kit, they have Java language proficiency, and it's, it's really neat because they help connect you to actual real jobs, right? And you can pick what you're, what you're searching for. So if we go here to Java, and we click on the problems, you can see that I have problems that say try again. And that means that I've tried them and I failed. <laughs> and that will definitely happen when you're doing these, right? They are pretty, some of them are pretty challenging. They start off pretty easy. And why don't we pick, why don't we pick a pretty easy one here? Oh yeah, this one's really easy. So why don't you go ahead and solve this if else problem and send me your solution when finished. Okay, I'd like to see your solution. So this is a different layout than, than um, Code Wars. It's probably used a little more in actual hiring than Code Wars, but yeah. Let's give this problem a, a, a try. I've started getting solutions from students. So let's go ahead and check this out here. You see that we are saying if n is odd, print weird. Okay, so the first thing we can do is check to see, we read in n, if n modulus two does not equal zero, then we have to print system.out.println weird. Right? And we just go through the list, what to do. Okay, if n is even, n from 2 to 5, print not weird. Okay, so we can say, else if n is greater than or equal to 2 and n is less than or equal to 5, we can print out here not weird. Was it a capital W? Let's see. No, uh, yes, it was not weird. Okay, and then we can go here. Um, if it's even and from six to twenty, we print weird. Okay, else if n is between six and twenty. Then we print weird. Okay. And then what's the next option? The next option is if n is even and greater than 20, print not weird. Okay. So okay, let's see. Can we just say print not weird for the rest? Let's see, let's try that. Else system.out.println not weird. All right. So we run this code here. And it looks like we got it. And then we go here. Then we go here, submit code.
And it looks like we did it. Great. Okay, nice. So then if we go back here to here, we see that we have, we have a solution. Okay, so we can see here, this is a lot shorter than my solution. So we're saying if n is odd or it's greater than or equal to 6 and less than or equal to 20, it's weird. Otherwise, it's not weird. And with this one, I was basically going in their order. I was saying weird, not weird, weird, not weird. Combining them together definitely makes sense because then you have less coding because you don't have to do... Um, well, I mean, you're saying... You're saying that you want to combine the not weirds. So let's see. So if... And also it depends on like what they're testing, you know, like if, if they're not testing certain things, then maybe like a complete solution might still get their seal of approval, you know, but I mean, th this is kind of an interesting problem just because they're, they're just asking, can you follow these instructions? There probably are lots of nice ways for me to make this code shorter and and not written out like this and you know it's entirely possible if somebody else was to see the solution they'd say no I don't like it because XYZ right like that's that's totally possible but anyways hacker rank is a really cool site and you know I think I think you're gonna really like using it so we have one last thing to talk about and then we're done so let's move this over here and let's go here to fall Java 2021 okay so we see that we have a new assignment called code breaker so let's let's check out code breaker let's go to preview and we'll say preview assignment okay this says each number represents the corresponding letter of the English alphabet so one is lowercase a, two is lowercase b, three is lowercase c, on and on and on until you get to 26 is z. Negative numbers represent uppercase, so negative one is a, negative 17 is q. All other numbers are ignored. A non-numeric code indicates the end of each secret message. Okay? A non-numeric code indicates the end of each secret message. So, you're going to run through this, pass all these tests, and then you're going to explain how your code works. Right? So you have to put into words what this problem does. So this is a pretty similar problem to the type of problems you'd solve on Hacker Rank or Code Wars, but they call it the Code Breaker. It's the Code Breaker, and it's relevant to encryption, decryption, right? Taking, taking a message and coding it so other people can't understand it. And, you know, that's the basis for how Bitcoin works. Yes, exactly. Right. The, that great movie. And that movie was about, um, let's see, Turing. So it was like the imitation game, was it called? I think I saw it. Yeah, Alan Turing. Great hero of, of this field. Imitation game, yeah, that's that's what it was called. So this is going to be a really, really good assignment. You're going to like doing it, 
it forces you to really think like you can't you can't just sit here and do like one plus one you got to really plan it out and understand how how java works and how it runs and i think i think you're really going to enjoy it so take some time and and work on that the other thing is on the class website last time during class on freer school we spent some time putting an idea for a final project and some people did it during class other people waited and then some people maybe missed class last time so you have to post your idea for a final project on Career School. And then as soon as you finish, you're welcome to start working on it. Now, the last month of this class is pretty full of activities. Right? I think the entire class is pretty full of activities because we always have new coding to do. And it's just, a, it's just a really challenging class, right? Because you have to keep practicing, practicing, practicing to get good at this sort of thing. Now, um, I really want to see everyone finish strong and have a final project that you're proud of because that's what really counts. That's the type of thing you talk about in an interview situation, right? That's the type of thing you talk about in an interview situation. Okay. So, very good. Final questions. Ah, I guess I thought of one last thing to talk about. Okay, so I am working on a survey about motivation and computer and students learning computer programming. So, pretty soon, I will post the link here on Discord. I mean, I should just probably do it right now, right? I should just post the link right now. What am I waiting for? Let me just post the link right now. Um, two more exams. Let's look at the... Let's look at the schedule. Um, yes, we do. You have an exam on the 29th, November 29th exam. And then final exam, December 15th. So yes, two more exams. So let me share this, let me share this survey now. And all right. This is going to be pretty important to me, so I'll probably be reposting this a lot so that people who haven't who haven't done it, I'll I'll ask them to please do it. But I'm going to need people to fill out the survey. It, it might take a little bit of time, like between 20 to 30 minutes. Um, depends how fast you go. Some people might get it done in 15. Some maybe in 15. But this is just questions about like why you signed up for programming classes, um, what your interests are. There's a lot of interesting motivational questions, um, you know, if we used Code Wars in the class, so I'm going to ask other, other professors outside of, of me. And then if they don't use Code Wars, I want to see like how it, it influences the student answers. So you can go ahead and, and start that when you have free time. Like if you have no other class after this, take it now, right? But if you have other things to do after this, I'll I'll remind you next class and the class after that. Like this, this is going to be something where I need everybody to to fill this out. But yeah, the sooner you do it, the better. And it's just going to be really important for this project I'm working on. 
And it is going to be relevant to you because it's going to make you think about some of the motivations you have about studying programming. It's, it's not a survey about like how much you like hockey, right? Like it's something relevant to this class. And I got IRB approval from Miami-Dade in order to do this survey. So it's, it's not just some random thing that I thought up last night. It's, um, it's going to be pretty important. Okay, so to summarize everything, we have an assignment on Freer School. We have an assignment on Memer. And we have a survey to fill out, which is not graded. The other two are graded. So let me go ahead and take attendance really quickly. And then we can call it a day. Right, one second before you leave. Let me just finish attendance. Okay, attendance is done. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.